our sixth letter of the alphabet is going to be letter F. We're going to start with an open hand and attach our three fingers on the end together and bring our thumb into our index finger to make a loop, like so. F. It's different from letter D, in which we bring our three fingers into our thumb and leave our index finger up. Letter F, we are going to attach our index finger to our thumb and leave our three fingers on the end up towards the sky. F. Our first word for letter F is going to be F for family. To sign family, we're going to make letter F in both of our hands facing away from our face and then we're going to loop our hands around and bring them back together. Two letter F's brought around together is a grouping or a family. F for family. Our second word for letter F is going to be F for friend or friends. We're going to use two index fingers and we're going to wrap them around each other to symbolize a friend. If it's a best friend, you can simply wrap your index fingers and shake it a couple times to symbolize that you're very tight with that person. That's your best friend or buddy. Our last word for letter F is going to be F for fruit. We're going to take letter F and we're going to place it at the side of our mouth and wiggle it twice. Fruit. I like to eat a lot of fruit. Our seventh letter of the alphabet is going to be letter G. To form G, we'll start with an open hand and we're going to drop our three fingers on the end down and bring our thumb and index finger either towards us pointed or we can do it away from us. Either or is fine. G. Our first word for letter G is going to be G for girl. To sign girl, we're going to take our thumb and we're going to slide it down the side of our face, ending at our chin. Girl. Our second word for letter G is going to be G for good. I'm going to use two open palms and I'm going to use my right hand, my action hand, and I'm going to start at my chin and drop it down to my other open palm. Good. I'm feeling very good. And don't forget, if you are doing good or something's good, you should probably smile and nod your head as well. Good. Our third sign for letter G is going to be G for green. To symbolize the color green, we simply take letter G and we wiggle it twice. Green. G for green. Our last sign for letter G is going to be glasses. Simply take your fingers and act like you're putting on glasses. These are reading glasses. If we wanted to say sunglasses, you would just make a sun and then act like you're putting on glasses, or you go S-U-N glasses. Our eighth letter of the alphabet is going to be letter H. To form H, we'll start with an open hand and we're going to bring our index and middle fingers together and drop our other two fingers down and point it outwards with our thumb attached as well. H. Our first word for letter H is going to be H for happy. You can use one hand, happy, or two hands is fine. I'm really happy. Don't forget to make the face and smile to signify that you are happy. 
our next word for letter H is going to be H for hurt. You can use both index fingers and twist and bring them together. Hurt. Like, oh, my back really hurts. Our next word for letter H is going to be H for hot. And this is hot as in temperature, not necessarily food being spicy, as in it's hot outside or that food was really hot. I had to get it out of my mouth. It was way too hot. Our next word for letter H is going to be H for hearing. If we are a hearing person, we'll take our index finger, turn it to the side and roll it under our nose twice. Hearing. I am a hearing person. Our ninth letter of the alphabet is letter I. To sign I, we will simply start with an open hand and we're gonna leave no finger up except for our pinky, I. Now, to sign I, as in myself, I'm gonna take my index finger and I'm just gonna point at myself, I. This means I or me. Our next word for letter I is going to be I for ice. Pretend like we have some water that's flowing and then it freezes. Ice. I for ice. Our next word for letter I is going to be I for idea. We're gonna take our letter I and touch our forehead and move it up a couple times. Oh, I had an idea. Our next word for letter I is going to be I for interested. I'm gonna take my thumb and my middle finger and I'm going to pinch while I pull away from my midsection and right under my neck. Interesting. Interesting. Our tenth letter of the alphabet is going to be letter J. To sign letter J, we'll take our last letter, I, or our pinky, and we will just draw an imaginary J in the air in front of us. J. Our first word for letter J is going to be J for jump. We're going to have our open hand and take our action hand with two fingers, kind of like legs, and we're going to jump or hop once. Jump. Our next word for letter J is going to be J for juice. We're going to take letter J and we're going to draw a small J right next to the side of our mouth. Juice. Any guesses what this means? Our next word for letter J is going to be J for join. Hey, bring these people and come Join the rest of us in here. Join. Our next word for letter J is going to be J for jacket. To sign jacket, we'll just act like we are throwing on a jacket. Thanks for joining us. I hope you had fun learning the alphabet. Please continue to practice and until next time, I'll see you later.